An electric car use by country varies worldwide, as the adoption of plug-in electric vehicles is affected by consumer demand. Market prices, availability of charging infrastructure, and government policies, such as purchase incentives and long-term regulatory signals. Hello viewers, welcome back to yet another video on our channel. Today we will share with you top 5 countries that have the most electric cars, so stay tuned and let's get right into it. More than 6.5 million electric vehicles have been sold worldwide, and this number is expected to grow significantly over the next decade. It can only be accelerated by the sale of new petrol and diesel cars being phased out around the world as soon as 2025, with Norway taking the lead. The UK is targeting 2030, and the EU's 27 member states are aiming for 2035. In anticipation of this, Forbes advisors car insurance experts looked into EV readiness among developed nations to see which countries are best suited to EV drivers. They ranked the world's most technologically advanced countries on five key EV-related metrics. Number of EV sales in 2021 Number of charging points per capita Average price of electricity Percentage of energy from renewables Road quality The top five countries that have the most EVs are Number 1. Norway as of 31 December 2021, the stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles in Norway totaled 647,000 units in use, consisting of 470,309 all-electric passenger cars and vans, including used imports, and 176,691 plug-in hybrids. Norway's fleet of electric cars is one of the world's cleanest because 99% of its power comes from hydropower. Norway has the world's largest EV ownership per capita. The plug-in electric passenger car segment captured a market share of 29.1% in 2016, 39.2% .2 in 2017, 49.1% in 2018, rose to 55.9% in 2019, 74.7% in 2020, and achieved 86.2% in 2021. In January 2017, the electric drive segment surpassed combined conventional internal combustion engine sales for the first time ever, achieving a combined market share of 51.4% of new car sales. In October 2018, Norway became the first country where one in every 10 passenger cars registered was a plug-in electric vehicle. As of 30 September 2022, plug-in electric cars represented 25% of all passenger cars in circulation in Norway. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to ring the notification bell. Number 2. Iceland The plug-in car segment in Iceland reached 5.37% of all new vehicles registered in 2016, allowing the country to rank second in Europe after Norway that year. Registration of new plug-in electric cars totaled 2,990 units in 2017, up from 157% from the previous year. The segment's market share achieved a record 14% globally, second only to Norway. Tesla opened its first supercharger in Reykjavik in December 2019, with four more planned around Iceland in 2020. Tesla started delivery in Iceland on February 28, 2020, and was quickly the number one new electric car sold in Iceland. As of March 2020, passenger plug-in market share of total new car sales for the year 2020 has reached 55%. Number 3. Luxembourg. As of January 2023, 1.94% of all vehicles in Luxembourg were electric, and as of June 2022, the national government offers subsidies of up to €8,000 for electric car purchases. These subsidies are scheduled to last until March 2024. In September 2022, there were 1,344 public charging stations in Luxembourg, and as of January 2023, the national government subsidies up to 50% of the cost of charging station installations in privately owned parking lots. Number 4. Sweden As of December 2021, a total of 355,737 light-duty plug-in electric vehicles have been registered since 2011 consisting of 226,731 plug-in hybrids, 120,343 all-electric cars, and 8,663 all-electric utility vans. The Swedish market is dominated by plug-in hybrids, representing 74.9% of plug-in car registrations through 2017, but began to decline thereafter, reaching 70.3% in 2020 and 57.5% in 2021. Passenger plug-ins increased their market share from 3.5% in 2016 to 5.2% in 2017, rose to 11.3% in 2019 to 32.2% in 2020, and achieved a record take rate of 45.0% in 2021. 
Effective January 2021, Sweden offered subsidies for the purchase and operation of 5,000 electric cars and other super green cars with low to no carbon emissions. The program was belatedly renewed through 2015 and again for 2016 with the addition of subsidies for electric buses. Number 5. Denmark in the late 1980s to early 1990s, a few thousand of the small one-person and locally produced Ellert were sold in Denmark, but relatively few remain today. In the following decade, very few electric cars were sold in Denmark, but a clear increase began around 2010. In 2015, Denmark was the second largest European market for light-duty plug-in commercial vehicles or utility vans, with over 2,600 plug-in vans sold that year, representing 8.5% of all vans sold. Up to and including 2015, electric cars had been exempt from vehicle registration tax, but it was decided that this would be gradually phased out. In 2016, the vehicle registration tax for electric cars was placed at 20% of the normal rate. In 2017, it was planned to increase to 40% and within 5 years it would become the full rate. This had a large effect on the sale, which drastically fell in 2016 to 2017. As a consequence, it was decided that the increase in vehicle registration tax for electric vehicles would be delayed, being capped at 20% of the normal rate in 2017 to 2019, then gradually increasing until 2023, where it would become the full rate. A new fund for fuel cell vehicles was also started. Despite difficult circumstances and the pandemic's negative impact on the automotive industry, the popularity of EVs has been expanding rapidly due to government subsidies, improving charging infrastructure, their increasing range and lower battery costs, and environmental sensitivity. So that's all for today's video, and until next time, goodbye!